video, I'm going to show you how to make a human digestive system. So let's go into the video. What you need are a tube, a diagram, a chart, so a tape, a rubber, a syringe, a pen to colour, a pencil, a scissor, a glue stick, some foam sheets and some dye and a food colouring. First we need to draw our diagram in big size on our chart. This is my digestive system. To make it I found a picture from online and I took I took the pictures height and width and only the pictures not the whole pages and I compared it with the height and width of the chart which turned out to be 2.5 times. Then I drew a line which is 10.7 cm long and I took 0.5 cm gap between the two vertical lines and then they turned out to be 22 uh, vertical lines then I started off drawing horizontal lines and they turn out to be 42 after I put 0.5 cm gap between them also and the height is 21 cm long then I drew the same number of horizontal and vertical lines over here also so then what I did is I started from the top and went to the bottom and I looked where there's a line in each of the top boxes and I traced it and from the top I did the same until the bottom until I got this picture. Now I'm going to label the parts of this picture. I rubbed off all the lines and then I label, I gave each part its number and on a separate chart, I wrote what the label means. So here, I gave it one and I wrote one mouth. And I wrote two and tongue. And then three, which is the three here, here and here. And I named it salivary glands. And enzymes can be found here. And then I named four, which is here, epiglottis. And I gave it the name over here. And then at five, I called it a trachea, which is in a part of the digestive system. And at six, I wrote it as an esophagus, which is the connection between your head and your stomach. And then uh, at seven, which is over here, I named it stomach. And enzymes can also be found here. And at eight, which is at the tip of the stomach, I named it pyloric spinster muscle, which is at the tip of the stomach before it's, uh, it runs into the parts of the small intestine. And then I named nine, which is over here, as liver. Liver takes off the to toxicness of the food. And at ten, which is over here, I named it gale bladder. And then 11, which is over here, I named it pancreas. And enzymes can also be found here. And 12 is over here. And it is duodenum, which is the first part of the small intestine. And then off, uh, that's over here. And after that, 13, which is over here, that's the small intestine. And 14, which is over here. The, uh, that's appendix and that's called as a non-needed organ and 15 is over here and it's called casein which is the starting part of the large intestine and then 16 is all this which is the large intestine and then 17 is at the curve over here from the large intestine between the large intestine and the anus and it is called rectum 
And in 18 comes the anus, where your food is excreted. I've stuck a plastic tube to represent the food flow from the mouth to the anus. And now I'm going to make it more lively. I added some coloured foam sheets and some dal to make my digestive system more lively. So the hair is all foam sheets and the salivary glands, the mouth to the stomach is all dough and the stomach is foam sheets. Liver is also made up of foam sheets including the gallbladder and also the pancreas is made by foam sheets. And all this is made by dal and also all of the small intestine is made by dal and then from the large intestine it's all foam sheets until the anus. I left the tube transparent so we can see the food flow from the mouth to the anus. I also added some food colouring to the coloured water so you can see it pass through the digestive system. I'm going to fill the syringe with coloured water and put it into the mouth. Now I'm injecting the coloured water into the mouth. Food flows th from the mouth through the digestive system and came out through the anus. If you find an exact syringe that fits into the tube, it will be easier for you to inject the food. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe and turn on the notifications bell to get notified whenever I upload another video.